So I recently came across this website, uh, and it's uh, it was recently launched by Pastor Ed Young. He's a megachurch pastor down in Texas. I'm not against megachurches, so I just want to put that out there right now. I go to a pretty large church here in the Detroit area. Um, but this pastor recently launched a website that dispenses fashion advice, fashion tips, to pastors. And on, on the surface, that doesn't seem wrong to me. I remember being in seminary, and the seminary, you know, the seminary professors and some of the books that we were reading talking about the etiquette of the pastor and how the pastor should be presentable. You know, wear clothes that fit you. Uh, you know, have your teeth brushed, have your hair combed or brushed, or um, you know, be showered. You know, basic hygiene, basic uh, present. You know being willing to present yourself to other people because people do judge by the outward appearance more than they should but it seems odd to me that a pastor a church pastor a pastor with a very large platform is dispensing fashion tips I'm not saying that a pastor shouldn't uh, if he wants to make that a side hobby that's fine I love comic books I will talk to people about comic books all day long in the long run at the end of the day Comic books probably don't matter all that much in the grand scheme of eternity. Then again, they might. Who knows? But either way, you've got a pastor with a huge platform who is now dispensing fashion tips to other pastors. And I recently read a book by uh, Jared Wilson and Matt Chandler called The Explicit Gospel. And in this book, they make the claim that many people are going to church Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, Wednesday after Wednesday after Wednesday and hearing sermon after sermon after sermon and yet walking away and saying I have not heard the gospel or when you know Matt Chandler specifically preaches the gospel to people who have grown up in the church their whole life they say to him I've never heard this before and he's kind of floored by that and I'm kind of floored by that because when I was reading it I was going yeah this is the gospel thankfully I've been blessed to be in churches that do preach the gospel I've been in a few churches that don't but I currently am in a church that does preach the, the full counsel of the gospel, at least you know, as far as I understand it. Thankfully, I also have the advantage of having gone to school for, for Bible, and now I'm doing my master's degree in religious education, so I kind of have an advantage in terms of knowing what the gospel is. But you have all these people who are walking away from the church saying, I've never heard the gospel message. And meanwhile, you have pastors dispensing fashion. Tips. And I'm not saying that Ed Young does not preach the gospel on Sunday mornings. I'm not saying that he's preaching how to dress a certain way on Sunday mornings. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure all the advice that he's given on this website has not been done on a Sunday. It's been videos uh, done at, at other times. So he's not using the pulpit itself to preach how you should dress. But the point I want to make is you've got people walking away from the church saying, I don't know what the gospel is. Meanwhile, you have pastors dispensing fashion advice. Um, and, and then also, another thing that I find interesting is in Scripture, in, I want to say 1 Samuel, you have Samuel going to Jesse and saying, you know, bring me your sons. And his first son, whose name is Eliab, I want to say, shows up. And the first thing that Samuel thinks is, this is the king who I've come to anoint. And God says, no. No. Uh, man judges by the outward appearance, but I judge by the heart. And so when I hear about a pastor dispensing fashion tips, it seems kind of like he's buying into the notion that looking at the outward appearance is a viable way of judging a person. It goes beyond saying, I know people are going to judge by outward appearance and saying that that is a valuable way of judging someone. There's a huge difference there. And it seems like Ed Young is buying into the latter. You know, how do you, how do you tie a knot? How many times should you have your pant legs rolled up? Um, how can you wear something that slims you down so that your suit uh, fits more? These kinds of things seem to be like a waste of a pastor's time. When you've got the fatherless and the widow and the orphan to care about uh, in scripture, you know, those are the things that the people that it tells us to be caring for, a pastor taking time to dispense fashion tips, high-end fashion tips at that, seemed to me to be just a little bit like um, a waste of valuable time. 
again, I know Ed Young loves Jesus. I know that he, or at least I hope that he's preaching the gospel on Sunday mornings, but it seems to me that buying into this world system of you need to look good and here's how to do it so that people will listen to you and people will value what you have to say it seems to fly in the face of what the gospel is all about if we feel like you know our baggy jeans are a hindrance to the gospel going forward if we feel like it can somehow uh, short circuit the power of the gospel in people's lives then the gospel we're preaching isn't strong enough to begin with but if we really believe that the gospel is the power of God unto salvation, first to the Jew, then to the Gentile, then we should understand that we don't need to worry about you know, our fashion. And I'm not saying to get up there and just dress sloppy because you know the gospel is powerful, but I am saying you don't need to worry about uh, wearing Armani over wearing Old Navy. You don't need to worry about um, whether your pants are frayed at the bottom or whether they are a straight cut. And, you know, you don't need to worry whether you're wearing skinny jeans or boot cut jeans. Obviously, wear clothes that fit, look presentable. You know, okay, you're you're preaching this gospel message, and there's something to being presentable when you do that. But worrying about how you come across and that being able to short circuit the gospel message to me seems to be a missing of the point altogether of the gospel itself anyway that's my two cents i would love to to get some feedback leave some comments talk to you later bye